Every year, thousands of students across the country begin their flight training. Whether it's overcoming fear, a career in aviation, or the enjoyment of flying, students start by enrolling in flight school. On the Sunshine Coast, Go Fly Aviation, operated by Damien Wills and his team of instructors, work hard, have fun, and teach everyday people to fulfill their dream of taking flight. It's a cold Saturday morning, and Tristan is about to do his flight test with the CFI. Honestly, all week I was pretty okay. Like, I've, I felt like I knew what I needed to know. But now that I'm here, I'm, I'm getting pretty nervous. I'm starting to get the cold sweat, <laughs> but hopefully it'll be all right. He's feeling nervous as he pre-flights the sling too. It's tense. He has a lot riding on this test. I will just depart up wing, climb to 1,500 feet and head out of the training area. Cool. Land of traffic, sling 8668 is rolling one way, two, three, to land So to begin with, I did it because my grandfather always wanted to do it and he never could and he passed away two years ago and I talked with my grandma and she sold some property and she's like, look, your grandfather always wanted to do this and you're kind of interested in it, can you do it? And I was like, yes, yes, I'll do it. It was, from the beginning, it was literally just so I could take my grandma for a fly because that's what she'd wanted to do with my grandfather. If you had a fire on board right now, what would you do? Uh, turn everything off. Yep. Cut the engine, turn the petrol off, turn the flight completely off. Yep. All pumps off, turn the master off. Yep. Throttle back. Throttle us down. Land as soon as possible. Okay. Where, 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 where would you land? We have a nice field to my left here. Oh, that's good because you can have an engine fire as well right now. Yeah. Five speed. Ah, I won't try not to talk. Hey, talk if it makes you fly better, you talk, I don't care. I prefer to know what you're doing. Alright, fair enough. Straight level. Alright, I picked my field, that's where I'm going to land. Try and start the plane. Fuel switches, change the fuel tank, start it, it's not starting. Cool. That one, we're at 2700. Having completed his passenger endorsement earlier in the week, Stephen is taking his wife Ruth as his first passenger. She has been very supportive as he has embarked on this journey into aviation. Our speed is coming alive. 50, start to pull our nose off the ground. And we're up. Keeping at 70 until we build up our airspeed. Calandra traffic, swing H668, short final, runway 23, Calandra. Touch and go. Calandra traffic, swing 1132, descending on the dead side. 1500. 300 feet, plus up. Calandra traffic. Calandra traffic, Cessna 172, Whiskey, November Romeo, lining up runway 23, Calandra. He's got two minutes until he drops the parachutes. Which means we probably, we won't actually make that because we'll be four minutes in. So we actually will probably just stay out here just for a little bit longer. Yeah. But what I'll do in a second is we'll actually just do a left hand turn and we'll just sort of fly down that way a little bit. Okay, clear my right, clear my center, clear above, clear left, clear behind. Hey 
Hey, Mark, how you doing? Well, mate, how's it going? Good. Good, thank you. Awesome, have a great day, mate. Cheers. Find the traffic, swing 8515, descending on the non active side of 23, Flandra. Find the traffic, swing 8515, is joining midfield, crosswind, runway 23, full stop. I think that noise is going to be Romeo, uh, crosswind, runway 23, full stop, Calandra. Traffic by Cuneiform Lima joins uh, left hand downwind runway 12 Kabulcha. Uh, 182 in joining the circuit, have you got me on your right? Have you started with Cunevember Romeo? Affirmative. Brakes under carriage mixture, fuel is set to our right now for tango or entrance degrees, which is all good. Patches and harnesses are okay. Passing 2,500 feet on descent. Uh, how many aircraft in the circuit now? Okay. It's so, uh, wings level. Got it. Great. On it down. Halfway through his flight test, Damien pulls an engine failure on Tristan. Okay, engine failure. Failure. I could definitely make the field. Yep. Um, I could even make 2 3, I reckon. Yeah, we'll go 2 3. Kind of explain how this gate is uh, mid down when 2 3, non standard circuit, right approach, full stop, Calandra. Engine failure, go all flat. Yep. I lost a bit of airspeed at the end. Yep. I think that because I flared too early. Uh, you just lost a little bit of inertia there. It's a tense taxi back to the hangar as Tristan waits to see if he has done enough to pass. Okay, I've control. Okay, I'm gonna pass you. It was just a pass. Okay. No, you were very nervous. So, um, a couple of landings, well, they're all safe. Um, but I've got to take into account the gusty conditions today, and you had a time of the 12 knot crosswind as well. Um, uh, so you're just a little bit slow on the run of the crosswind, it was still safe, it just wasn't, wasn't perfect, that's all. Um, but you know, with the, as far as your, your upper air workout and the training, that was all excellent. Uh, you got your procedures out, your stalls uh, were good, um, inbound was good, um, aircraft not communicating with us made it a little bit confusing, but that's almost okay. That wasn't your fault, that was his. Um, your... Yeah, just a little bit of a wing gradient today and with the turbulence sort of threw you a bit with your nerves. Um, but you would have got us into the airfield with the engine failure in the circuit, so I was happy with that. Yep. 
Um, and yeah, it's just mainly just a bit, bit more practical than rudder when you've got a strong, strong crosswind. Yep. Um, but other than that, you know, well done. You can relax now. Oh, <laughs> still stressful. Oh, absolutely, yeah. All, all tests are stressful. I'm relieved. It's like, uh, I, it's kind of surreal at the same time because I still have that nervous feeling, but it'll be good from now on. I'm excited.